Rudhiva Namaha and Sai Shruti of Fourth Standard. Today, I am going to speak about the topic Adversity makes a man wise. It is rightly said, Adversity and loss make a man wise. In adverse circumstances, you can either flee or face up to the problems and deal with them. To take them on requires knowledge and understanding, that is, wisdom. This wisdom comes from experience, observation, trial and error and the counsel of others. Over time and with test and trial, this mix refines itself into rules of thumb and guiding principles. It enables us to cope and that is often all that we will be able to do. It makes a great story when someone overcomes many obstacles and difficulties and goes on to a great triumph and financial reward. So, it is a story to be told and retold. Adversities brings out all the qualities in man. It makes him humble, patient and self-reliant. Thus, adversity proves to be a much better school than prosperity. The history of the world is the story of the survival of the fittest, the story of those who fought against adverse circumstances and achieve great victories. Adversities in life should make you better, not bitter. Shakespeare has rightly said, Sweet are the uses of adversity, which, like a toad, though ugly and venomous, wears yet a precious wealth on its head. So, adversities are a test of a character. It has been said, Those whom God chooses to be blessed, He first tests their worthiness by sending adversities to them. Helen Keller had to face adversities on every step she put forward. She fought her darkness, hearing and speech disabilities and emerged as a better personality. Booker T. Washington faced so many adversities and rose from being a slave to one of the most successful educationists in the world. Mahatma Gandhi Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther, Albert Einstein all faced adversities and they never let them make them bitter. They made themselves better personalities and God blessed them with success in their fields. So, we must sublimate our bitterness into betterment in the fire of adversity. Thank you.